Hello students, welcome to Unupal Sir's video classes. In this chapter, in this video, I will discuss uh, some important thing in brief regarding non-electrolytic solutions. Okay. So, solution means that is the mixture of solute and solvent. And when this interaction, that is solute-solvent interaction is more than the solute-solute uh, and solvent-solvent, then what is happening? If it is solute, if it is solvent, then the interaction, that is the solution, if this interaction, if A B interaction is more than that of A A and then that of B B, then the non volatile solute does not have a tendency to get converted itself into vapor. That means, vapor, vapor, what is happening? Vapor pressure will be decreased, and due to this, boiling point of the solution will be increased. So, if we see the graph. That is, if it is vapor pressure, if it is temperature, then if it is atmospheric pressure, then pure solvent touches the point at that temperature, it touches the atmospheric pressure then it is known as the boiling point of that solvent, nothing else. And then if solution is there and the solution is non-volatile solute is added, that means solute-solvent interaction is more, then what is happening? Vapor pressure gets decreased and this portion reaches this part that is known as the boiling point of the solution. So, this difference is known as, this difference is known as the delta Tb part. This difference is known as the delta Tb part. That is the elevation of boiling point. So, elevation of boiling point basically directly proportional to the molality term. Okay. So, that means if we equalize this, then delta Tb equals to Kb into M where Kb is the elevation of boiling point constant or ebulloscopic constant. Okay. Similarly, if this solute does not have a tendency to get vaporized easily, that means its vapor pressure decreases. So, at the same time, it does not have the ability to or does not show a tendency to get solidified. So, freezing point get decreased. So, if we draw the curve of freezing point here, that is in case of pure solvent when pure solvent touches this portion it is known as freezing point and as the vapor pressure decreases for solution then this temperature will be less than the freezing point of the pure solvent so this is known as the delta Tf part. Again, delta Tf is also directly proportional to M and therefore, delta Tf equals to Kf into M. So, what is mean by molality? Molality means nothing else. The number of moles of solute present per kg of the solvent. Molality means number of moles of solute present per kg of the solvent. So, if Wa gram solvent contains Wb gram solute. Then Wa gram solvent contains, we can write Wb by Mb moles of solute. Because if the Mb is the molar mass or molecular weight of the solute, that means Wb by Mb is the number of moles, weight by molecular mass, molar mass. So, 1000 gram solvent contains Wb into 1000 by Mb Wa. Isn't it? 
so this portion is equals to the small m that is the molality part so delta tb equals to if kb into this part that is wb into 1000 by mb wa then if in a numerical everything is given we can get the value of mb or we can get the value of wb similarly delta tf equals to also we can write here kf into wb into 1000 by mb into wa okay so this is all about molality now come to the part that is molarity molarity is quite different that is the number of moles of solute present per liter of the solution molality was present per kg of the solvent and molarity means number of moles of solute present per liter of the solution okay so we have the formula regarding osmotic pressure osmosis process I think I don't need to explain okay don't uh, so pi equals to if CRT that is the C is the molarity here because pi directly proportional to temperature and pi directly proportional to C when temperature is remaining constant so pi equals to CRT so C means what C means number of moles per liter molarity that means if v liter contains n mole then 1 liter contains n by v and here pi equals to n means weight by molar mass okay so w by m by v at t so in the numerical everything is given we can get the value of the unknown thing it may be m maybe w maybe v okay now what is happening i told you in the earlier classes that if vapor pressure gets decreased then boiling point of the solution increase so if in a pure solvent the vapor pressure is p0 and for solution the vapor pressure is ps so p0 much much higher than ps as this is the vapor pressure of pure solvent this is the vapor pressure of so solution so the delta p becomes p0 minus ps and delta P by P0 means what? Delta P by P0 means relative lowering of vapor pressure. That is equals to the mole fractions. Mole fractions means what? Number of moles of solute by total number of moles. Mole fraction of the solute. So this delta P by P0, this delta B equals to KB into M, delta TF equals to KF into M and pi equals to CRT. They are nothing but the colligative properties because they depends on the number of ions of the solute present in the solution as the number of ions increases this boiling point will also increase as the number of ions increases osmotic pressure also increased okay this conception is very very important now come to the raoult's law part that is when it will show positive deviation when it will show negative deviation so if y axis is considered as it is vapor pressure vapor pressure and if it is mole fraction this is the pure A this is pure B so x A equals to 1 here no B is present x B equals to 0 x A 0 x B 1 so this combination is for pure part okay pure so if we added the tie line we can get this in the mixture we can get we can have both the parts but when the solute solvent interaction is stronger than the solute solute than the solvent solvent then solute molecules a will not have a tendency to get vaporized b will not have a tendency to get vaporized that is why their vapor pressure of the solution will be lower that means there the vapor pressure of pure a pure b decreased and the solution also decreased so this blue line indicates the negative deviation this blue line indicates the negative deviation from raoult's law when solute solvent interaction is stronger and if solute solvent interaction is not so stronger then this portion vapor pressure will be increased vapor pressure will be increased and total vapor pressure also 
solution increase that means this red line indicates the positive deviation part so how can we understand which solution will show as positive deviation which solution will show as negative deviation polar polar they will have strong interaction non polar non polar they will have strong interaction but polar non polar they will have a positive deviation because they don't have a stable form okay so this type of conceptions are very much important and now for ionic we need to consider a factor that is van der hoff factor is i which is related to the degree of dissociation alpha alpha equals to i minus 1 by n minus 1 for ionic solids and in case of association this is for alpha dissociation and in case of association it will be i minus 1 by 1 by n minus 1 so what is mean by association case association means here suppose rc double oh is there so acid molecules are attached by this hydrogen bonding so in this case it will be association formula will be used and when nacl dissociate like that then dissociation formula will be used okay so now come to the numerical portions that is the numerical is given find out the osmotic pressure of one decimolar solution of k4 fcn6 at 27 degree centigrade fine at 27 degree centigrade we need to calculate the osmotic pressure of which compound the compound is given k4 fcn6 and molarity is given in terms of decimolar so one decimolar means we can easily write that is 0.1 molar is not it so k4 fcn6 when it will dissociate like 4k plus and fcn6 4 minus okay so they are for alpha equals to what i minus 1 by n minus 1 here alpha is given as 70% so alpha equals to here 0.770 by 100 i n equals to what 4 and whole is 1 so 5 that means we can get the value of i here and from this portion osmotic pressure we need to find out so pi equals to icrt that means pi equals to i this value should be put here c is 0.1 r means 0.082 and t is 27 degree that means 300 kelvin so we can get the value of pi in terms of atmospheric heat the next numerical we have that is calculate the vapor pressure of the solution vapor pressure of the solution when 7 g 7 g calcium nitrate 7 g calcium nitrate is dissolved in 100 g water and when the solution dissociates 70% and the vapor pressure of the pure water is 760 mm so we need to find out the value of vapor pressure of the solution we know delta p by p0 equals to a formula i x2 because van der hoff factor should also be there because calcium nitrate when dissociate it will form three particles so delta p means what p0 minus ps by p0 i x2 here x2 means what n2 by n1 plus n2 how can we get the value of p0 here p0 is given 760 mm p0 is 760 we need to find out the value of ps here n2 means what n2 means we can write here w2 by m2 n1 means we can write here w1 by m1 w2 by m2 so w2 means how much 7 g calcium nitrate is there m2 is the molar mass of calcium nitrate nearly 164 g per mole w1 means how many solvents are there 100 g m1 means 18 that is the molar mass of water 
and W2 M2 all are same 7 by 164. So what will be the value of I here? Alpha equals to I minus 1 by N minus 1. Alpha is given as 70 percent and N will be here 3. So you can get the value of I. So this value should be put here. Everything we know just we need to find out the value of PS. The calculated portion nearly equals to 746 mm. Okay. This type of numericals are very very important. And the next question we have which one has higher boiling point between 0.1 molar NaCl and 0.1 molar glucose. So 0.1 molar NaCl and between 0.1 molar glucose. Glucose is covalent. It will have C6, H12O6 part. Therefore, it does not have any ionic property. So, number of ions will be more in case of NaCl as N equals to 2 here. Therefore, it will have higher boiling point. It will have higher osmotic pressure as they are the colligative properties. So, next question we have that is the order of boiling point for equimolar solutions C, B, A, D are given as order of boiling point is given as C less than B less than A less than D. This is the order of boiling point. So we need to find out the order of freezing point. So if boiling point of a solution has been increased that means its D delta Tf also increase that means depression of freezing point increase so freezing point order will be in the reverse manner so that portion will be the freezing point order okay so that's it for today in next class i will definitely discuss some important thing and conceptual questions regarding solution chapter okay so to get more videos please subscribe